Hi everyone, Peter here from Flow High Performance, and in this video we will cover how protein intake may influence fat loss. First, let's quickly recap some fundamental information that we established in the previous videos in this series. We should now understand that for significant fat loss to occur, we need to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight. However, we want to maximize how much of this weight loss comes from body fat and minimize losses in muscle mass. The stimulus for muscle retention will be resistance training. So trainees should perform an effective resistance training routine during a weight loss period in order to maintain or potentially increase muscle mass simultaneously. This will not only increase the proportion of fat lost, but it will also result in a more aesthetic appearance and limit decreases in basal metabolic rate. In this video, we will explore the role of protein in this process and how it may influence fat loss during a weight loss period. First, we need to establish what exactly protein is. Protein is one of the three primary macronutrients that we ingest through food, with the others being fat and carbohydrate. Protein intake is of significant importance for physique development, as it provides the raw material for most tissues of the body, including muscle mass. It is well established that protein intake has a significant effect on muscular adaptations from resistance training. So protein is not the stimulus for muscle growth, but it can certainly help to maximize the adaptation process. Let's now cover how protein intake may influence fat loss during a calorie deficit. During a calorie deficit, we are naturally in a more catabolic environment compared with a surplus or maintenance. This is because we are literally using bodily tissues for energy production in addition to the food we consume, which is how weight loss occurs. This obviously allows us to lose body fat, but also results in a higher risk of muscle loss. Basically, we want as much of this burnt tissue to come from stored body fat, not from muscle mass for various reasons that we established in the previous videos. Protein intake can assist this fat loss process in three primary ways. Let's now cover what these are. The first and primary way is through its effects on muscle mass. We want to try to maintain as much muscle mass as possible, or like we established in the previous video, even try to increase muscle mass during a calorie deficit. This will not only result in a more visually aesthetic physique, it also helps to retain a higher basal metabolic rate and maintain a higher total daily energy expenditure. While resistance training is the stimulus for muscular adaptations, protein intake can help to maximize its effectiveness. A higher protein intake generally results in more favorable hypertrophy outcomes, while a lower protein intake probably won't maximize adaptations from resistance training. How much protein trainees should ingest will be discussed later in this video. The second effect protein intake may have on fat loss is due to the thermic effect of food. This refers to the increases in metabolic rate from ingesting, digesting, and storing food. So basically the entire food intake process is somewhat energy costly and generally accounts for around 10% of total daily energy expenditure. This research review aimed to provide an overview of the thermic effect of food. The author stated that a high protein diet appears to have a higher thermic effect in calorie equated conditions. This means more energy is used to digest and process protein compared with fat and carbohydrates. However, this was only found to be around 17% more than a high carbohydrate or high fat diet. So while protein does seem to be more energetically expensive to consume, it is probably not going to contribute to a significantly greater increase in total daily energy expenditure when we consider that the thermic effect of food only accounts for around 10% of total daily energy expenditure. However, it still can contribute to an overall greater increase in energy expenditure, which may make the dieting process slightly more manageable. And the last primary effect that protein intake may have on fat loss is due to its satiety effects. This research review aimed to assess the influence of protein intake on hunger and satiety. The authors concluded that higher protein intakes seem to be more satiating compared with other macronutrients. While this doesn't have a direct impact on body composition, it can certainly impact the practical and behavioral aspects of weight loss. Often a barrier to successful weight loss is due to the hunger experienced by trainees. Excessive hunger may result in an unplanned increase in calorie intake, and therefore a delay in weight loss over time. While there are many strategies to mitigate hunger, one strategy is by consuming a high protein intake. This can indirectly assist fat loss by helping trainees feel more satiated with food intake and promoting a more consistent adherence to a calorie deficit. 
So we've established that high protein diets are probably going to have numerous benefits for weight loss. However, the real question is, how much protein should we consume? This meta-analysis aimed to evaluate the relationship between protein intake and changes in lean body mass. It was found that protein intakes of up to around 1.5 grams per kilogram of body weight per day seem to be almost linearly effective at promoting muscle growth. Furthermore, protein intakes up to very high levels of around 3.5 grams per kilogram per day seem to have additional benefits too, although there are probably diminishing returns, meaning they are less additionally effective as intakes become higher. As a practical recommendation, trainees should probably aim to intake at least 1.5 to 2 grams per kilogram per day of protein to maximize muscular adaptations during a calorie deficit. And if it is practically viable, trainees may even want to push protein intakes above this range to see even better results. However, when protein intakes become extremely high, it may reduce overall diet satisfaction and it may take away from other macronutrients like carbohydrates, which may have benefits for exercise performance. Since exercise performance is ultimately the stimulus for muscular adaptations, it may not be ideal to limit carbohydrate intake. So as a summary, let's establish some practical recommendations as to how protein intake can affect fat loss. Protein is a macronutrient with a primary role in our interest of providing the material to build most tissues, including muscle. Protein has many beneficial effects on body composition, which can be utilized to maximize fat loss. Protein intake can help the growth or retention of muscle mass during a weight loss period, which will increase the proportion of fat mass lost, improve aesthetic appearance, and help to retain a higher basal metabolic rate. It also may provide a slight increase in energy expenditure by maximizing the thermic effect of food, although this is probably a minute change which shouldn't be expected to make much difference. Furthermore, high protein diets seem to help trainees combat against excessive hunger during a weight loss period and maintain adherence to the diet. Trainees should aim to consume at least 1.5 to 2 grams per kilogram per day of protein and even increase this further if possible. Thanks for watching and hopefully you got something out of this video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already.